As cloud computing gains momentum, many organizations are choosing to dip their feet into the cloud to gradually migrate services and resources off-premise. To effectively control their environment, cloud providers typically need to dictate IP addressing for their customers' cloud-based resources. Change in an organization's address structure, even partially, can be daunting. Fortunately, there is a solution. Windows 2012 Hyper-V Network Virtualization allows customers to maintain their current IP addressing while enabling cloud providers the flexibility to co-locate tenant virtual machines on the same physical network, even the same host, while maintaining tenant isolation. In this brief demonstration, we'll take a look at the exchange environments for two mock organizations, F5 Demo and F5 Agility, and how they make use of Windows 2012 Hyper-V Network Virtualization, along with F5's Big IP and Access Policy Manager, to provide a highly available, secure, and flexible environment. Our first organization, F5 Agility, has recently started to migrate its user base from Exchange 2007 to their recently deployed Exchange 2010 environment. Additionally, they've made the decision to migrate their entire Exchange 2010 environment to the cloud. Most importantly, they want this process to be as seamless as possible to the end user. To aid in this process, the organization has already configured network virtualization between their corporate office and the cloud provider. In addition, a Big IP Virtual Edition with Access Policy Manager has been deployed at the provider and configured to manage traffic flow as well as provide pre-authentication and single sign-on to the existing on-premise exchange deployment, regardless of which version is being accessed. Migrating the exchange environment is as simple as running a PowerShell script that modifies network virtualization configurations, monitors and manages Big IP pool members, and migrates virtual machines from the corporate office to the cloud provider. Since the client access servers are deployed behind and managed by the Big IP already, the migration can be completed with little to no end user disruption. Now that the migration is completed, let's take a look at a typical Outlook web app sign-on experience for both an Exchange 2010 user as well as an Exchange 2007 user. As you can see, users are able to access their mailbox from a single URL regardless of which version of Exchange they are on or whether the server is on-premise or up in the cloud. Our second organization, F5 Demo, is currently using Exchange 2010. However, they are now starting to migrate their user base to Office 365 and want to provide single sign-on to both Exchange 2010 and Office 365 users. To further promote high availability, the organization has decided to migrate its ADFS farm up to the cloud. Like the previous deployment, a Big IP Virtual Edition with Access Policy Manager has been deployed at the provider and configured to manage traffic flow as well as provide pre-authentication and single sign-on. And like our previous organization, migration of the ADFS farm is done via PowerShell script. The Big IP with Access Policy Manager provides a single sign-on experience for all F5 demo users, whether the mailbox resides on-premise or is hosted online. By combining F5's Big IP and Windows 2012 Hyper-V network virtualization, organizations and providers have a scalable, highly available, and flexible environment in which to deploy their applications.